Hi, I'm Jen Bankard with the BTN Group, and I'm here with Jenna Brown, General Manager, Director of Uber for Business UK. So Jenna, welcome to Business Travel Show 2023. Thank you, it's great to be here. This is actually my first one, so I'm very excited. Oh, that's amazing. So um, let's start off, and why don't you just tell us a little bit about your role at Uber, and, and I understand you're actually a little bit new to the, the business travel side of Uber. Yeah, absolutely. So I lead Uber for Business here in the UK, but I've been with Uber for about 10 years. So just started that recent role in November, which is why I'm my first BTS ever, which is very exciting. Yeah. So what are you most looking forward to at the show this year? For me, it's like these kinds of conversations, conversations with clients and customers and people in the industry. I think that's how you learn the most. We can kind of feed that back into our offering and we can tell people about what it is that we do offer. Yeah. So we're now a, a few years out of the, the height of the pandemic. Business travel has changed a lot. So what are you hearing from your customers and what are you observing about how business travel has changed the most? I would say I'm hearing two big themes. The first is, I mean, I'm seeing travel patterns are changing, right? So people are traveling less. When they do, they're staying longer. Um, they're maybe integrating into their personal lives and that's kind of feeding into some decisions. And the second is sustainability. I really do think that's at the forefront of a lot of people's minds. And I think there's a sort of known responsibility in the business travel space that we need to be kind of pushing that agenda along. Yeah, so let's talk about um, sustainability for a minute. And BTN uh, this year instituted um, uh, the inaugural sustainability, uh, business travel sustainability awards, both in uh, the Americas as well as here in U Europe. Uh, Uber was the winner of our uh, ground transportation platform uh, award in the US and you were a finalist here in Europe. So obviously uh, Uber for Business is doing a lot in the sustainability space. So talk to us a little bit about where your efforts are focused and again, why this is so important to you as a business right now. Yeah, this is something I'm really proud of. Having been at Uber for 10 years, like I said, I think right now we're really pushing, pushing ahead in this. And so our efforts are focused in a few areas. So one, for us to be able to provide a sustainable offering, we need to actually have that offering available to us, which for us really comes in the form of electric vehicles on our platform. So that means that people can select UberX or they can select Uber Green, which is that electric vehicle offering. But to be able to do that, we need drivers with cars, with electric vehicles. So we're doing a lot to make that easier for drivers. It's understandably very difficult today. Um, and then we need the infrastructure in cities. So we're doing a lot around charging. We've invested in charging infrastructure all across London, for example. Um, and then I think the third piece that we're really focused on is making that accessible for everyone. So we've committed to electric vehicle trips being the same as UberX cost-wise for riders. And I think that's really important. And at the same hand, drivers are actually earning more. And we need to be able to provide that for folks so they don't have to make that trade-off when it comes to sustainable travel. Yeah, so as you look at those three areas within sustainability, what are you hearing from your customers, both in terms of where they are focusing their efforts, as well as maybe what are some of the challenges that they're having that you're helping them to solve? Yeah, so I think most folks, especially when it comes to ground transportation, still are looking for those electric vehicles, right? And so that's where they're focusing. They want to reduce carbon emissions. And the nice thing is on ground transportation, we know how to do that. We have the levers, it's electric vehicles. So Uber actually has 10,000 electric vehicles on our platform in London, for example, which is more than any other platform and any other city. And we're really proud of that. And I think in order to be able to kind of provide that offering, that, that for us is sort of one of the biggest things that we can do for our customers. So let's talk about some of the other things that, that Uber for Business is focusing on. So, you know, right now we're um, in the middle of the exhibition hall here at the show. Uh, we're surrounded by lots of other business travel suppliers in the space. And, you know, as an industry, I think it's always been interesting when we look at companies like Uber for Business and we've, I think in a way we've, we've struggled to define it, right? We've used you know, terms like ride hailing, ride sharing, driver hire, transportation network carrier, but, Certainly, I know Uber for Business's offerings have expanded quite a bit. So how would you define the category that you fit into these days? Yeah, it's fair. Having been at Uber for so long, I think I've struggled to define it for a while, especially to family and friends. Um, but I would say Uber for Business, I view us as a, a platform, so like a travel management platform, if you will. Um, and I think that will continue to evolve, especially as we we evolve our offering, more and more products, more and more places. And I, I think that's what we have to start really identifying as, but also as sort of 
letting our customers know that's what we can offer. Right. So when you're talking to corporate customers um, and asking them to, you know, consider, you know, integrating Uber for Business into their corporate travel program, what do you think are the let's say the three main things they need to consider when they are choosing a travel management platform. Only three is tough. They have tough jobs. I would say um, like safety, right? Like there's a duty of care to all of their teams and employees. And we're very much in line with that. Um, I think variety and quality of offering. So that includes sustainable options like I spoke about, but really being able to sort of meet your customer where and when you need them to meet. Um, and then I think, you know, probably reliability, like it just needs to work. It needs to work every time. You don't want to hear about issues. You don't want to have issues. Um, those are probably, if I had to narrow it down to three, those would be them. Yeah. So you started off um, by talking about safety and security, and you're, you're absolutely right. You know, duty of care, it's always been important in the business travel space. And I think, again, with, with various things that have happened over the past few years, it, it's increasingly important and is always sort of at top of mind for people. So what are some of the specifics that you're doing at Uber for Business to address rider safety and duty of care and, and anything new on the horizon? Yeah, so we're doing a lot. That's another area that I'm very proud of what we've, what we've been doing. So first, every driver goes through a background check. So we're really insistent on that kind of safety process and sort of rigor that's in place. The second is we have a lot of in-app safety features and we're constantly rolling those out. And that's really to make sure that both the rider and the driver are safe on those trips. So we have to think about both sides of that. Um, and then third, if, you know, in the instance that an incident does occur, we have a world-class incident response team and they're really good at handling those. Um, we also have really interesting integrations with things like international SOS for the business customers. So it really is about, you know, background checks, making sure that we're safe going into it in the middle of a trip in those apps, um, in those in-app features. And then obviously, if something does happen, we're there to really make sure that we're sort of hand-holding through that entire process. And are there any differences between the, the safety features um, and precautions that you put in place for the Uber for business part of the side of the business versus, you know, if, if you know, I am, you know, at home in New York City and I just need to grab an Uber to do something for, um, you know, in my personal life. Is there any difference between the two sides of the platform? You know, there is. But at the same time, I think we need to have the standards equally high on both. And so they're, you know, really every rider to us deserves that extreme level of safety. We do have, you know, additional things, like I mentioned, inter integrations with International SOS to make that easier. We have special business support for our business admins and sort of those using the Uber for Business Dash. So there are additional features, but really I think it's that what we would call the bare minimum, which really is pretty excellent at this point, needs to exist across you know every trip, every customer, rider, and driver. That's fantastic. So you said you've been with Uber for, for 10 years, which I think uh, I would assume that might mean that you really like working for the company. So what do you like most about your job and what would you say is Uber's, I guess, special sauce, so to speak? Yeah. So what I like about my job now is events like this, honestly. It's really fun to like chat with people and meet with people, um, be a part of that conversation. And I think especially because we are doing so much in this space around sustainability, it's, it's fun to have those conversations. So I'm really enjoying that. I think our special sauce is I still see at Uber that same like grit and creativity that we had nine or 10 years ago. And so while now we're obviously a much more mature platform and offering, we're still really creative in terms of how we solve problems for our customers or how we solve problems internally and, and how we can kind of continue to improve that offering to meet the needs of folks. And, you know, we've, we have this great offering, but we're not slowing down yet. And that for me is why I'm still here after so many years. Is there any feature or, or product that you're particularly proud of or anything uh, coming down the pike that maybe you're particularly excited about? Yeah, there's a lot, but I would say it's actually, it's a dashboard, which doesn't sound very exciting, but it's um, within our, our Uber for Business dashboard, we have these sustainability insights that we've rolled out. And the reason I'm so proud of that is we rolled that out in um, Q4 of last year, around October. And from October until Q1 of this year, we saw a 35% increase in electric vehicle trips taken from business customers. So to me, that just means by providing that visibility to sustainability insights and carbon emissions that are avoided, 
we can actually start to change behavior. And I think we should continue to do that. But that was just, it's a really exciting role that I think we can play and then we can help our you know clients play as well. Yeah, and I would imagine for the, the, the travel managers and travel buyers who are here at the show, anything they can do to help you know nudge travelers towards greener choices so knowing that you actually have some data to support that you're changing traveler behavior is really yeah. exciting um so speaking about the the buyers who are here at the show um if for some reason they haven't incorporated uber yeah. for business into their travel program yet why should they yeah so for me i think it's that most likely your teams are already using uber whether that's personal or business travel and so for me, integrating into your travel you know, offering is really just acknowledging that and then giving yourself the visibility, the control that you might want when it comes to your travel offering um, can help adhere to your policies. And so I would say come on over to the stand, have a conversation with us. But like I said, it's really our, our scale, our safety, our sustainability, all of that really is just um, it's, it's just taking advantage of the fact that a lot of your folks are probably already using it today. Fantastic. Well, Jenna, we've got to wrap up. We're out of time, but it's been so wonderful chatting with you. And I really hope you enjoy your first ever business travel show Europe. I will. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.